the best way to do fart leg for sprint training is to not do fart leg for sprint training. Hi, I'm Sam Portland from Sportland Training and Fitness and welcome to Coach Sportland TV. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about fart leg for sprint training and why it is a terrible idea. Let's have a look at this in a, in a real context now. What we're trying to do, increase speed. So why would continuous running help us increase our speed? It doesn't make sense. Fartlek traditionally is speed play in Swedish, so it's changing in tempos of running. Whilst that's really good for developing general fitness capacity, um, it's not gonna help you get quicker. I mean, you could do it in your program right at the beginning when you're not trying to get fast. However, if your goal is to run fast and you're serious about running fast, Fartlek training is not gonna be the goal for you. What you need to be doing is trying to manipulate the work to rest ratios and percentages of your maximum velocity. Let me make that more simple for you. What you're trying to do is run as fast as possible without fatiguing as fast as possible. So for example, let me introduce you to a training means called extensive tempo. Now extensive tempo training for sprinting is running at about 70% of your maximum velocity, which is very maintainable. Through this, you can train at high volumes of high percentage of speed training without fatiguing, developing your aerobic capacity. Now that's the goal of conditioning for sprint training. Extensive tempo is really, really useful because what it also does and how it actually increases your speed is it allows you to one, tolerate more volume of sprint training, but also is a technical training tool that allows you to develop rhythm, relaxation, timing, and coordination. You can almost consider them as form running. And that is a key element of sprint training efficiency. We need to make you efficient so you can run fast and have a high level of what we call running economy, which gives us a, a higher level of repeatability so we can do it over and over again. And like I said at the beginning, your goal and why you want to be using conditioning tools for sprint training is to allow you to sprint at higher percentages of your maximum velocity over and over and over again. So take this concept of extensive tempo and start looking to apply that into your training, which is going to condition your working muscles, your nervous system, and train the speed skill paradigm very effectively, which is in turn gonna allow you to run faster, more often, and protect you. And if you want to take your speed training seriously, then I strongly recommend that you buy my off-season and in-season speed training manuals available at Coach Portland. The link is in the description below. If you wanna see more video content just like this, packed with information for you to ensure that you are progressing as an athlete, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. Thank you very much, and I'll be speaking to you soon.